Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, well, journey over here was a bit quicker than usual. Actually, uh, these have been rough times for British comedians. Uh, we're all stuck in our houses. I've got the hair of like a 70s rocker whose Wikipedia page includes uh, the word controversy. And we're all unable to come to Melbourne. Um, this is, as you probably know, because uh, the first time anyone got slightly warm over there, you all locked down for 19 weeks, whereas our Prime Minister spent the whole of 2020 saying it's very important that you stay indoors, respect the rules, save lives. Uh, the only exceptions are you may take your children to school, go to the circus, do hot yoga, or breathe directly into the mouths of 10 strangers. T towards the end of last year, it looked like we were finally getting on top of it and we would be able to come over to Australia, and then they thought, oh, it's nearly the holiday period, let's open things up for Christmas. Um, and uh, presumably the science guys just said what would be really good um, in terms of containing the virus is if everyone found their oldest family member and sat near them in a confined space uh, in the warm for a few days. Funnily enough, another massive fucking spike. Um, and in January, in this January, we started COVID testing in this country in airports, which nearly a year into the pandemic. I mean, it's like if a lion broke into a school and ate a different child every day for nine months and the headmaster said, it's probably about time we put a no lions please sign up. So this country is swimming in disease. It is toxic in the UK. If you're watching this in Australia without a mask on, you have caught it now. And uh, it's not just the government's fault. Part of it is just a British mentality. Like, we won the war. I'm not going to obey the rules. You've seen this sort of thing from Brits, we, we, you know, we should be above the pandemic because in the summer, they opened up one of our most popular beaches. Um, it's on the south coast, but uh, can get up to about 15 degrees there. And um, yeah, that guy knows. Um, I saw some on the news and uh, they said that you're not worried that you're gonna, there's gonna be another spread, another spike. And this is what I mean about the British mentality. The guy said, my grandfather didn't fight in two world wars so someone could tell me whether to go to the Bournemouth beach. So, no, of course he didn't, he, he had other stuff on. It was more Hitler and stuff, his stuff. I, I, but then on the other hand, you get there's people here that are enjoying the lockdown, sort of weirdly glorious. You see these people on social media. Oh, is anyone else secretly quite enjoying this? Because there used to be so much pressure to go to parties, and now we can't. Ha, ha, ha. I, just, I cannot understand these people. Do you think it's a good thing that 120,000 people are dead just so you don't have to go to Becky's hen weekend? Just tell Becky you don't like her. I've never liked people that... Um, boast about the stuff they're not doing, you know. You get a new year. Oh, I didn't do anything for New Year's. No, it's a waste of time. I was in bed by midnight. Oh, I'm surprised you lasted to midnight. I, I was in bed by nine o'clock. No, I didn't stay. I was in bed by lunchtime. I put myself into a controlled coma on the 22nd of December. There's no glory in not being able to do stuff, and that's the situation we're all in at the moment. So, very, very much miss Melbourne. Hope that this time next year I'll be there. I will be there, unless I'll get there and there's, you put a sign up saying no Brits, uh, which would be understandable. Well, thank you very much, Melbourne. See you soon. Good night. Yeah, tough crowd. I mean, this, you know, this isn't even a microphone. <laughs>